Yo, 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 guys, what's going on? Big Rob back here with another beer making boot camp video. Take those off because you can't see a damn thing here. Those are just perfection. I'm gonna look badass, all that shit. This is take number two. Last video totally screwed up. Didn't even look good. I was gonna let this happen. Then I said, no, I'm gonna give you quality. Just like the beer, we're gonna make quality. So here's the deal, guys. Hope you're enjoying the boot camp. Stick with it. Take your time, go through it, get all the equipment in, this stuff I'm going to recommend. Learning how to make beer is not hard, um, but it does take patience, and part of the patient is going to learn how to do it correctly. Today, we are talking about the equipment you need. This is a boot camp. So, I was in a boot camp, I was in the military. You know what you do in boot camp? You do as you're told. So, you're going to do as you're told if you want to make good beer. You need to get the equipment required. Now, there's two ways you can go. I'll show you the shitty way first. This is the shitty way. This is when you go to your local beer store, beer kit store, and you just get a bucket, um, and you try to get all the equipment yourself. Um, that's all good and well. I use that equipment as well. Um, sometimes um, beer kit stores will have um, kits already done up for you. They're fine. What I would recommend, though, that you do, and if you hear kids screaming in the back room, man, this is just my man cave beer making area, and I got kids over next door in my rec room, and they just scream and holler because they don't give a shit what I'm doing. So, bear with it, deal with it, boot camp. So, what I recommend you do, and what I use and love, is the Cooper's DIY kit. Do-it-yourself kit. Now, this, this is a bad boy system. This is your primary fermenter, okay? So, what does that mean? That means this is where you're going to take the wort, which is basically the beer you make before it's fermented, and you're going to put it in this vessel to ferment. Okay, so it sits in here, and we'll get into how long, depending on the beer you make, but anywhere from you know a week to three weeks, depending. Um, so this bad boy, this 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 fermenter comes in the DIY Cooper's kit. Now with the kit, and what I really like about the fermenter, I'll show you the spigot deal contraption, kind of like a kitchen sink faucet is when the beer is fermenting, all the action's taking place, the yeast and the sediment drops down below the spigot. So when you go to bottle or keg this bad boy, you don't have to transfer it into another um, bucket or carboy. Carboys are the yellow ones you see, or not the yellow ones, the glass ones you see people making that wine with. You don't gotta do that because all the sediment's down below this. If you use the, just the bucket, which again works, no problem. Lots of people make great beer with these things, myself included, there's no spigot. So you've then got to pick up one of these contraptions where you're going to have to siphon the beer out yourself, okay, instead of turning on the spigot. And you got to hold it up above the sediment and stuff. So it's fine, it works good. Um, like I said, lots of people do it. But what I love about this contraption is it also has what's called a krausing collar. Now krausing is the shit that, <laughs> for lack of a better term, because it is, when you, when you first make beer and the action happens, you're going to see a, a, a line of foam form up here. And uh, then, then, then the beer drops because the foam stays and then the beer drops. The foam goes away, it's basically it, but at least residue on the bucket. Now that can turn into bacteria and uh, ruin your beer, spoil your beer. Krausen collar catches the Krausen ring, the foam, the dried foam, here. So after the Krausen has dropped, you can pull this bad boy out, put the cover back on, and away you go, less chance of getting uh, contamination in your beer, which is also cool. What I also love about this kit, I love this kit, and uh, like I said, I'm here to help make good beer. This is what I use, so I'm going to tell you to get what I use. So get it. What also comes with it is the bottles. You need the bottle. I'm going to teach you how to mini keg and keg later on, but you're definitely going to start a bottle, and you'll probably always bottle um, to an extent throughout your whole career as a home brewer, or as your whole, as your whole hobbyist time as a home brewer. Um, I keg now, but even when I keg, they hold 19 liters, so that leaves an extra three to four that I'll end up bottling in one liter bottles. But this comes with enough bottles to get you going, and I want you to use bottles starting out, okay? Um, it also comes with your handy dandy stir stick, paddle, paddle your ass with it as well, um, whatever you're into. It comes with the first jug of liquid malt extract that is already hot. Don't worry about the technicality shit that I just talked about. This is what will make your first beer. Comes with that already. That's cool. Comes with a hydrometer. Hydrometer is going to be used for a few things. One to tell you when the beer is done fermenting in here. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's also going to help you determine how much alcohol content is in the beer you brew. Shit, I can't remember. Comes with a few other things also. Um, if I were you, it does not come with a measuring cup. Pick yourself up a nice measuring cup. I got that at the dollar store. And I'm going to put a link under the video to the DIY kit. 
um, as well as possibly a um, few other things like the sanitizer. You absolutely need to get some sanitizer before you can get going. Um, this is Star Sand. It's a non-rinse. Uh, it means it's, it's food grade, it's edible type of deal. Uh, don't drink it or any of that shit. But uh, you don't have to rinse when you're done. I still do. But what I do is, and I'll show you how to clean and sanitize later. I clean this bad boy and my bottles uh, with um, non-scented hand soap. Then I sanitize the shit out of them with Star Sand. So that's what it comes with, guys. Now, get this kit. Just go get it. Here's the deal. If you're new at home brewing, now, even if, you, if you've been doing it for a while, I still recommend this kit. But here's what I'm going to tell you. These videos and these this boot camps, one a day. One a day until we're done. Okay, I don't know how long that's going to be yet. One a day until we're done. Okay, so if you don't have this, get it on Amazon. I'll put the link under there. Amazon.com or Amazon.ca if you're in Canada. You can get it shipped to you through Prime, which costs nothing. Um, and it's to your place within like two to three days. So when you get the next series of videos um, in the boot camp, just put them aside, okay, until you get your stuff. Don't sweat it. Chill, relax, grab yourself a brew. Next next month or two, you'll be able to grab yourself a home brew and relax. Um, but grab yourself a brew, chill out, wait till your gear shows up, then go to the next video. Okay, guys? So that's what I got for you. Again, this is boot camp. Get yourself the DIY Cooper's kit. It'll make it a lot easier um, following along. It also comes with, that's the other thing that comes with, it comes with the uh, uh, thermometer uh, that you put on the side. It just comes with everything you need. It's, and the simplicity of it, it's great. Um, you can, it, you're going to have these bottles. I use these bottles now mostly, um, but starting out, just these are going to come with the kit. Use them. These ones are the glass. I'm going to go over them in another video, but these are the glass flip top. They hold a liter, um, so that's cool. I like these a little better, but I definitely still use these. And I think these are the original ones that came with the Cooper's uh, kit. So that's what I would do, guys. If you want to do this on a lower scale, starting out, see if home brewing's for you. Um, Mr. Beer kit's good too. I have one of those, and I do brew on those. I'm about to do a video on a, a Mr. Beer brew. Um, I'll put a link to that as well. It's just, I forget how much this is. This is, uh, this is 23 liters. Shit, I don't know. Maybe half is the Mr. Beer. These get the, uh, the, uh, the, the liquid malt extract. The can's half in size. Um, so it just makes us, you still get the bottles. You still get everything. I don't think you get a hydrometer. Um, it doesn't really matter. That, that, that's kind of next stage type of stuff. Um, so if you want to start at a little lower, <coughs> um, and not quite the commitment, go Mr. Beer. Um, if you want to go all in, uh, I would go Coopers, and I probably recommend Coopers anyway. If you're going to go all in, you know, go all in. You can do this shit, do it right. You know what I mean? So that's what I got for you guys. Any questions, hit me up. I'm definitely here to help you. And until my next video, guys, keep on rocking. See you soon.